Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So again, this week you can see there are two of me because I want to be able to show you something on my web browser uh, that I think is just a fantastic resource for either teaching in person or teaching online. So if you're interested in having a look at my new recommendation of a beautiful website and learning experience for the mathematics classroom, then please keep on watching. So I was working with a lovely faculty and we were having a look at some learning experiences and one of them was which one does not belong and I know that many of us use which one does not belong so let me just uh, navigate to that window so there's a wonderful community who has started the which one doesn't belong um, community where they share a lot of different resources I'm just going to go to about and give them credit for this wonderful resource it was created by Mary Barasa and um, she continues I think to invite people to actually submit different uh, graphics uh, for different topics so you can see she's put up a lot herself and then other people have put up their suggestions of which one doesn't belong and I just love this website so thank you Mary a big shout out to you for creating this website and then the other shout out that I want to give is to Teresa Wills and she, you know her mantra is where there's a will there's a way <laughs> and I love that and I've been following Teresa for quite a while she released a wonderful book teaching math at a distance which I have and if you go to her math routines here her remote math routines which I think can be used in person or online uh, she has shared all of these wonderful templates that are just beautifully created with short videos of how to actually use the routines so she's got um, a beautiful template which one doesn't belong and if you click on the template here you'll get a copy of the whole template but I wanted to share um, how I use this with the faculty and the excellent suggestions that they gave me of how to use this with students so I've just got a couple of uh, slides here which uh, full credit to Teresa that she actually created and she has uh, this wonderful slide here that actually goes through the instructions so you know the first instruction is our students to strike it you know move the symbol to the one that doesn't belong so let's go there to one of them and if we go here she's actually uh, copy and pasted a lot of these symbols the symbols that you know which one doesn't belong so students just drag this I think there are about a hundred that she's done and then the second step so if we navigate to the second step give it a rationale so on the next slide if you chose this one as not belonging you take one of these boxes here and you give a rationale and this is anonymous so you can keep your uh, rationale anonymous and then she asks students here to select students to share using the mic or while others bold connections so the third step share and connect so I said to I normally use this with different faculties and I say if there is a rationale on this slide that you like bold it or highlight it or color it in some way or you can even insert a little star or a little circle to vote that you really like that rationale and then the third slide is the accountability slide so if you go down here keep moving myself out of the way if you move you down if you move down here it's the accountability slide where you make your choice public so you can you know consider new perspectives someone else's rationale or you can actually stick to your own and defend it so on that third slide you actually ask your students to write their name because that's the accountability slide and the reason and you can use another person's rationale so I was working with a faculty and they actually came up with this wonderful idea so I actually had two here I gave them a choice either doing this routine or this one so you could be looking at coordinate geometry here or looking at um, you know linear functions and their y-intercepts and their slope you could be looking at increasing decreasing functions there's I think there's a whole myriad of different mathematical concepts that your students could be discussing here to decide which one doesn't belong and so I gave the faculty a choice out of these two and I was just going to lead them through 
And then they came up with this excellent suggestion. So we're over Zoom and on Zoom, you have that self-select breakout room um, facility. So I created a breakout room and I said, look, if you want to look at this routine, that's breakout room one, or you could just say odd, odd breakout rooms if you've got a big class. So one, three, five, and say that there's no more than four in a group. Or this one, if you want to engage in this routine, then, you know, go to breakout room two or two, four, six, eight, and then just make sure that there's no more than four in a group if you've got a big class. And that was a much better way, I think, to facilitate the routine. Then people could actually choose based on their interest in which room they wanted to go to and which routine they wanted to discuss. And I kept popping into the breakout rooms and there was so much rich discussion about different mathematical concepts with it. So I'm thinking now that a much better way to actually facilitate this routine which one doesn't belong, is to maybe give two or maximum three, I think, choices, and then create breakout rooms and have students choose which routine they want to actually discuss. So you don't actually have to lead it. It doesn't have to be a teacher-directed, teacher-centered routine. It can be very much based on student interest I hope that you found those two websites really useful. It's such a lovely, quick, easy routine and you can use visuals and it doesn't have to be teacher led. And I think that you can use these routines both in person and also in the virtual environment if you're still teaching online. So thank you so much for joining me again. I'm going to put the links in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about how you are using these different routines or whether you have other ideas and suggestions of routines that we can use and other websites, please feel free to put it in the comment section below and take care everyone. I hope to see you soon.